The following talk was given at the Insight Meditation Center in Redwood City, California. Please visit our website at audiodharma.org. So it's uh, very easy to be preoccupied. It's very easy to get swept away in the currents of our thinking and lose touch with a variety of things. We can lose touch with what's happening in the present moment and we're off somewhere else thinking about it. It's also possible to lose um, touch with perspective where we get swept up in some concern and the perspective we have on it is maybe one that is um, narrow or maybe a particular slant which is not very useful. Thinking this is the whole world, is in this particular piece of drama that I'm thinking about. And so it's quite common for um, people have the experience of some kind of context that they're in that both helps them to kind of feel like more likely to be in the present moment and more likely to put their thinking in a context so that we're not living completely in our thoughts as if they're telling the truth. And we see there's a bigger perspective to have for, for our lives and whatever we're thinking about. And so sometimes uh, uh, some people find going in nature does that. Uh, going down and looking at the ocean or sitting at a park bench. That uh, somehow the, that setting helps us to feel more, kind of encourages us to be a little bit more in the present moment. We're more likely to notice what's going on. And also it can give a perspective on our lives where we realize that our particular preoccupation is not the whole picture, the big show, there's other aspects of our life that we can appreciate. And, and so it kind of, the, the pull or the way we're grabbed by our preoccupations, it will not be so strong. So in meditation, um, in sitting meditation, uh, one of the things that um, can be used to get this perspective, so we can break out of our preoccupation, is our breathing and um, to come and connect to your breathing. The natural rhythm, the breathing that keeps us alive, that flows and keeps going. And our breathing is not a thought, it's not a concept that we're thinking about, it's a direct experience that we're having. Um, and it's something that's always in the present moment. And there's something about the nature of breathing that um, lubricates the mind, lubricates our being. Um, there's a, maybe the rhythm of it, of coming and going, like the, like the tides, like the waves coming up and down against the beach or something, that it kind of keeps things kind of fluid and, and uh, less likely to be caught. It also can give a, 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 a perspective on our life where we realize that we're alive, and it's pretty precious to be alive and breathing, and that's distinct from whatever the preoccupation is of the moment that we have, whatever we're thinking about. And one of the ways of using breathing to, in this way um, is, uh, is to simply uh, let go of whatever you're thinking about and return to your breathing whenever you can. Another way of doing it is to um, stay with your breathing the best you can and whatever is happening for you, whatever your preoccupation, breathe with it, breathe into it, be, breathe through it, breathe around it. Um, so that the breathing is like the ballast of a boat that uh, the keel that keeps you from tipping over too far, or it's the reminder that there's more going on here than whatever you're thinking about. It's uh, an encouragement to the rhythm of breathing as we breathe through something, is encouragement, don't get caught in that, don't get lost in that preoccupation. There's more going on here. There's your breathing, there's a lived life that in the present moment, which is much more. So one of the, fu one of the ways that breathing can help us in meditation is if there's some preoccupation and also like some physical pain or some strong emotion, um, is to uh, breathe with it, um, breathe through it, breathe around it, kind of let breathing kind of be the lubricant, the massage. The, um, the breathing is um, kind of like this constant that keeps us kind of in the present moment. It's kind of like a thread that's always with us and always a touchstone we can come back to. And so your thoughts come and go and where you go and your thoughts is variable. But that constant is always there that offers stability and context, perspective. 
In walking meditation, the same thing can be provided by the walking, the, the rhythm of walking, the legs as they walk. And there also you can walk with your emotional life, walk with your thoughts, walk with your preoccupation. Um, and uh, so the kind of sense that the walking, the whole body as it walks, holds it all, or is, is, uh, creates a bigger context, context or perspective of what's going on. Certainly if you can let go of your preoccupation and just be in the present moment with your walking, that's a nice thing to do. What I'm talking about here is uh, particularly useful when you simply can't let go of something. And so, uh, okay, so it's going to stay, but then you don't let that be the whole picture. You don't stay caught in that or you don't give yourself over to it. But you have something else you do that's in the present moment that has a rhythm to it that creates that different perspective or ballast or lubricant that keeps you from getting caught in the preoccupation. The concern might continue, but you're, that's not the whole picture. It's not the, the only place you live. So as you stay to, as you work, practice here today, and if you find this idea interesting that I'm saying, you might try that. Try breathing with whatever's going on. Try walking with and seeing if the breathing and the walking kind of uh, helps support you not to get caught in whatever you have been caught in, if it happens to be that you get caught. If you don't get caught by anything this morning, breathe anyway. Thank you.